In news from Jamaica, a popular used car dealer Ian Lynn, having been accused of several counts of fraud, says he is no thief and he can prove it. Speaking with a local newspaper from overseas, Lynn says he has instructed his lawyer, Shanta Stewart, to turn over documents and information to the police which will prove his innocence. The fraud squad says impropriety against CarMax Jamaica Limited, formerly ran by Ian, climbed to over $160 million. In his defense, Lynn says he has not been a director or head of operations for CarMax since, since October 2014. According to Lynn, he was never the majority shareholder in the company which traded in used cars. He added that he is away on business and did not flee Jamaica to avoid possible fraud charges as has been leveled against CarMax director Darren Blake. Lynn has, however, not stated when he will return to the island or when he will make himself available to the police for questioning. In the meantime, head of the fraud squad, Superintendent Anthony McLaughlin, has indicated that the police are considering their options following Lynn's failure to turn himself in. Meanwhile, CarMax director Darren Blake remains behind bars in Jamaica. He was denied bail when he appeared in court to answer to 88 counts of fraud. He returns to court on May 1. Last week, auto broker Roderick Biles obtained a Supreme Court order which placed CarMax Jamaica Limited into receivership along with the assets of Blake and Lynn. The court order bars the men from disposing of or transferring their assets above $2.5 million.